Yo, what is going on, guys? Welcome back to another predictions video. Today, we have our reaction to last week and our predictions for this week. So, starting off with the reaction from last week. Oh, here we go. Dolphins. Tua had an amazing day. Yeah, he did. Um, so did Tyree Kill, Jalen Waddle, And although the defense didn't look great, they made the stops when they needed to. So, a win is a win. Um, yeah, it doesn't have to be pretty. You just got to win. Bucks. Oh. Season could be over after this one. I'm not sure. Man, yeah, my sympathy goes um, to Tom Brady. I don't care. I feel bad for the guy. He's not doing great, though. But. With Lamar. Being Lamar. Broncos won. finally won a game. Trevor Lawrence. Played decently offensively. He's not having a great year. ETN, though. ETN? Oh, wow. <laughs> ET call home. This was the best call game. Home. Of the week, in my opinion. Yeah, man. Who knew? Uh, Foreman had a great game. Mariota had... Like a walker. Mariota had a good game. And... I kind of feel like we got this one wrong. Everybody said it was the kicker's fault, but really, DJ Moore, mm. he got an unsportsmanlike penalty. I guess he celebrated too much. I don't know. Yeah, you can't just blame everything on the it kicker. It wasn't a flag, you but know? there was a 48-yard extra point attempt. That was I want to check something here. Yeah, I do remember seeing that now. Um, right, kickers aren't... I mean, unless you're Justin Tucker, kickers see. aren't Superman. Yeah. I and mean, even he missed one this season, so there you go. I don't know, but then he also missed a 33 in OT. Now, I can understand that being a kicker's fault. And that was a backup guy, wasn't it? Wasn't their starter sick? Was it mm -hmm. Gano out? I don't know. No, they don't have Gano. No. Maybe I should be doing... Justin something. Fields is... Proving people wrong. He's playing really good right now. Yeah. Um, well, he's got some new And the Bears assets. still using the run game he's well. Going to Charlie K Claypool but next week. Tony right? Pollard, three touchdowns. And Dak looked good. Um, Dak also Howard had a rough Zeke touchdown. Howard duking it out for RB1, huh? 49-29. I wouldn't even say that at this point. I'd say Zeke is definitely the backup. Yeah. Very, the starter. very overpaid. I wonder how that works with them. Cause I'd be pretty bummed if I was getting paid less but playing better. Vikings, uh, Cousins, just been really consistent this year, playing Justin good Jefferson every week. Cook over a hundred yards. Murray led the Falcons in rush yards with thirty six. That is not a good thing, but Hopkins no, had a good that. game. Mm -mm. Um, this was overall just another good performance in Minnesota, proving that they're, cause they had a T.J. Hawkinson now. Uh, this was bad. Oh, yeah. This is... Derek Carr gets Raiders taken out of the game. Just what is going on? They probably should fire Josh McDaniels. Yeah. I mean... I think he's going to be the first to go, unfortunately. Yep. Andy Dalton, a great game. Kamara, a career day. I mean, no sort offense. Of. Ex-Eagle, Matt Collins, is one of their better receivers. You got a problem, and you're getting crushed. It's he's been really good this year. Yeah, he has been, but he, you know, that if he's one of your better receivers, then, I mean, give give some tools here to Derek Carr. Anyways. Eh. Some like of that. it's on him. Yeah. Um, but, Ooh, anyways, Zach, pieces. I don't know, guys. Zach Wilson's just, I don't know. Zach the hack. Like, he hasn't thrown any yards, and then this week he throws a bunch of yards, but he made three picks. And I'm fine with you throwing three picks, but I saw two of them were just he should have thrown so, it away. So many picks. I, I mean, three picks in a game. Uh, you it's know, not that. You're just, and you're not going to win games like that. But that's not really the problem. It's just he no, could have thrown it away. He threw one it. One of the problems. He forced the ball downfield and they were picked. He's trying to make things happen when they're not there. I guess I understand that. He's not like a 35-year-old veteran. Yeah. So. Eagles remain undefeated. A.J. Brown... Career day. Jeez. Only six catches, but he had three touchdowns, 150 yards. Oh my God. And Hertz had yeah. four touchdowns, no picks. For the Steelers, uh, Kenny Pickett has eight interceptions. Yeah. yeah. I did not you realize talk that. About, just talk about Wilson. This is another guy who just throws it when he shouldn't be throwing it. No one there's... But... I don't know. He's he's even younger. His vision, though, the field just seems a little off yet. Maybe once he gets that down... Like, he's, he's just... I could tell he's going to be good. Yeah, he will. He's got. He just needs more confidence, and his and team's not giving. Now he lost. Okay, Malik. Hmm. Malik happening? Willis had. Derrick Henry literally won them the game. Yeah. Thirty-two rushes, two hundred nineteen yards, they were and two on touchdowns. His back, and the only reason they won. Imagine taking him out of the game. What the, besides the score? What is I mean, 
Uh, I know it's Malik Willis's first start, but six for ten, a pick and fifty yards, fifty five. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah, that's not good. Commanders. That's... I did not pay attention to this game, and then I saw the <laughs> Commanders won, and yeah, because it was what, sixteen to seven with eleven minutes left. Mm. Pan- then they kicked a field goal with four minutes and with twenty six seconds left. Taylor Heineke with the touchdown. Yeah. Heineke has Heineke been super up. clutch. Probably going to be starting instead of Wentz. I wouldn't doubt it. Why not? Um, then they're you the, got they're in the cellar. Then the this this really didn't. This game did not surprise me. Yeah, but look at Stafford. Well, he didn't even have a pick. But look at look at. I mean, a rush touchdown and a pass. That's good. Yeah. Um, but see him. Christian McCaffrey broke a record. Oh, yeah. He had a rush touchdown, so pass touchdown, down. and a receiving touchdown. It's the first time someone's done that since 2005, they oh, said. Oh, did he throw a touchdown? He threw one. Oh, I missed. Oh, no, I didn't see that. Clip. For 34 yards, I think. That's crazy. So he just had it. It's good, though, that they're utilizing him so a lot. So 49ers playoff bound? What do you think? Super Bowl bound? Easily. Yeah, really? Easily. Easily. You really? give so much talent on that roster. That's pretty bold. But that okay. is not bold at all. Wow. Speaking of bold, mm. Seahawks. Yeah. Sting. Sting. Geno Smith is proving that he could be in the MVP talks. Give him the extra, some extra money. Um, I guarantee you they're underpaying that guy. I'm not really sure. Giants just had a bad day. It's fine, though. They're yeah. still 6-3. and three, or six They're and still two. good, but they're played a really good team. So let's f- consider that. But, oh, here we go. This game wasn't even... The Packers probably played... They played pretty well, I thought. Yeah, they didn't suck. They, con- they lost. Controlled the game. Um, they didn't do anything the first half. That was the problem. Everything they did yeah. was hurried up in the second half. It um, seemed but like it. Aaron Jones, 143 yards. That's insane. Allen threw two picks. Yeah. That's unusual. Yeah. But it is Packers. They have a decent defense. Mm-hmm. This was my shock game this of the week. Is total I mean, jaw drop. I thought that the Browns maybe would win this just because I feel like it's just that they needed the win. They would have been out of the play. It would be close, yeah. Yeah, but not what that was. Brissett had a really good game. He had a touchdown passing, a rush touchdown. Chubb at 100 yards, two touchdowns. And their defense played outstanding. Um. Yeah. Stopping the Bengals. I don't know what to say, man. Burrow's good, but... Real, no, he had a great game. He just threw a he, pick. He, just, he needs to be like he that, needs Jamar that Chase. next level. Yeah, he needs he needs somebody like top end to throw it to. Should have gave him Hawkinson. Should've okay, him. so now we go to week nine. Um, we do have a lot of teams on the bye. Browns, Cowboys, Broncos, Giants, Steelers, Forty Niners. Um. So starting off with, well, we'll do that game second. Let's start off with the Eagles and the Texans. Thursday night game, yeah, Eagles. Uh, 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 give me the Eagles. Yeah, yeah, I think by so. three, I mean, in overtime. I, no, you are you joking? You you clowning me? Right? Go Texans. Twenty seven ten Eagles. Okay, me. that's what I actually watched a prediction. Someone said that. Yeah, I'm gonna go twenty seven twenty four. No, yeah. Mm-hmm. 27-24 You think it's going to be a three-point differential. Jake Elliott you makes... Are... All right, anyways, ne- on to move on to the next one. We're done with this one. Nope, we're not done. They kept Brandon Cooks, and he's going to have a good game. Um, Dolphins, Bears, give me my fins. <laughs> That's going to be a three-point game. Uh, if Justin Fields plays on the oh, sort yeah. of in the level that two is. Come on. They lost Roquan we... Smith and Robert Quinn. Yeah, we true. got Bradley Chubb and Jeff Wilson. We are going to beat the Bears. Could be a trap. Could it, be it, a it is trap? a trap game, but we're going to win it. Right. By seven. Do you think Tua has another game like he did? Oh, yeah. Yep. Okay. Bears defense looked terrible against the Cowboys, and that is with Roquan Smith. They lost him. He was their best offensive player. Could have been his top. I remember when the Bears used to be good when I was a little kid. <laughs> I'm going to go okay. with. Holy crap, look at the predictions on that. 31. Um. 31-20. Yeah, I could go with that. Dolphins defense needs to pick pick it up. Yeah, they'll win by a a decent enough spread. Chargers-Falcons. Wow. This is an interesting one. I'm pulling Uh, Falcons here. Okay. They're going to pull it out. I'm going with the Chargers because they're coming off a bye week. Keenan Allen should finally be healthy. He's questionable again. Um, Yeah, like I said. They need him badly. They're off a bye week. 
This is a game they need to win, and yeah. they will win it. Eckler needs to step up this game. Because... And they will win it by a score of 34-30. Who gets more rushing yards, Eckler or uh, Mariota? <laughs> I think that was part true, but this not really. Algier guy has been really good. Mm-hmm. And Huntley. Uh, yeah. I guess he's been all right. Falcons um, could be wild card. Falcons are a sleeper. They're I winning their... They're, yeah, I think they're that team we thought the Lions would be. I think it's the Falcons. They're winning their division. Now, this is a, this is a huge game. The Packers... Well, because the Packers have to win this game. If the Packers lose this game, it's, their it's season, over. Their, season's their, season's their season over. Their season is yeah, over. Yeah, I agree. They'll I don't be, want to discredit them because the Packers have been so good for so long. But They'll be 3-6. and six. Yeah. I mean, doc, the, the Lions don't even have Hopkins anymore. I mean, while well, they got Swift, they got St. Brown. I, I I think they could win. I see a lot Are of people pick picking the Lions, but I'm actually going with the Packers. They Take cannot. Safe, safe bet. I wouldn't even say, I wouldn't say it's an underdog, but I would say it's a not a safe bet. Mm-hmm. The Lions' defense is just so bad that it's a, like Swiss, like, the biggest part I mean, of Swiss cheese that can be. Actually, they gave up so cheese. much yards. Two out of Amazing day. Not saying because they faced the Lions, but, I mean, the Lions defense, they gave up, like, f- almost I mean, 50 points I mean, that Goff's one game. I mean, Goff's got a 2-to-1 TD to interception ratio, which isn't terrible, I guess. I'm going to go 24-23 Packers. I do think the Lions control most of the play, but the Packers are going to get, like, that kind of, like, lucky win. Because yeah. I think the Lions have a lot of underrated talent, but getting away Hawkinson... And their defense. Uh, I think that, yeah, that's going to be the difference. And I am going with the Patriots. Yeah. I don't think it's a question. Nope. You need to give Sam Ellinger more time, and this is a rough How's game. How's Jonathan Taylor done? He had a 1,000 yards yet? Just kidding. No, because no, he's been hurt. I but uh, I think Taylor will be fine, good to this game, but uh, definitely going that New England run game. Is... Stevenson, winning me some fantasy games. No, uh, he's he's been a breakout guy for sure. Mac Jones, look at that stat line. It's looking great. Yeah. Three touchdowns, seven picks. Yeah, Jacoby, Bailey Jacoby Zappi. Meyer's not doing so. Bailey Jacoby, Zappi yeah. could start. <laughs> well, that would be interesting. Now. Um, but yeah, hands. I'm going with the Patriots at home here, 27 to 14, to 13. Yeah, I can get that one. I think, you know. Mm-hmm. Destroys them, now maybe. Some this games. is interesting. Because I think this is like kind of like that Eagles Texans game. Like, yeah. I feel like you could see the Jets it, it winning. Could be that way. But give me the Bills. But, but, but yeah. Zach Wilson needs to stop throwing it to the team. Please Bills, Tredavious White is off the injured reserve, I think. Because um, he's their, probably their best corner, maybe their best defensive player. Um, see Josh Allen runs for 100 yards this game. Runs for 100 yards. I'm going to go. 27 to 17. I'm going to say Bills. 27 13. Okay. Then you got the Vikings Commanders. Oh, man. I kind of want to go with the Commanders because. No, no, you don't. <laughs> they. Come look. On. Come on. The you Vikings beat lost the, the Pac- Eagles, but they, they cannot listen. lose the Commanders. They beat the Packers. Then you go into Indianapolis and beat the Colts. Now you're playing Minnesota. Do you really think that it could be that now that once is out, that Heineke has boosted morale no. and well, the level of compete from the other guys? Yes, but I'm going with the Vikings here. Do you think what you think the commander's team likes Heineke better, maybe? Mm. I mean, it's been past... Uh, once isn't always doing himself to the team. 28-20. 28-20. Okay. You said Vikings, right? Yep. Oof. Raiders, Jags, oh. Jags. Oh, it's the no toilet No question. Bowl. Give me the Jags. The toilet bowl. Yeah, and 17-3. to 3. I'm going to say that at least they're going to get a field goal. I'm going to say 14-13. Uh, ETN, two touchdowns. Does Derek Carr start this game? Or did yes, he... yes, 100%. He had a bad game. It's it's not whatever, but... Well, this this I like coming up here. The Rams and Buccaneers. Oh, we skipped that. Okay. No, Probably that's next. Tour. Seahawks, I'm going with the Seahawks. Yeah. Yep. Uh, no doubt. Kyler's been really good running slash throwing. Um, Ten TDs and six picks, though. That's not that bad. Well, you can't just look at Compare that. Compare him to Gene Smith. You can't just look at Compare that. Compare him to Gene Smith. You just can't... from a point of view of yes, I know. TDs, which are important in this sport. <laughs> I'm going to go crazy score here. 38-27 Seahawks. Yeah, I can see that. 
I definitely um, can see that. Rams, Bucks. I don't know. The Jeez. Seattle's D is better. I'm going to go 20 on that. But anyways, okay. Rams, Bucks. Sheesh. Uh, yikes. Yeah. Yeah. If you're the Rams, you're in a bad spot. If you're the Bucks, you're in a bad they spot. They got two running back cores. That are they way have under, Tampa favored by negative three. Playing. I'm going with Tampa here. Oh. 21-20. All right, I'm going to go. I just can't I can't think the Buccaneers are even going to score 21. I hate to say it. I think it's going to be 15 to 17 Rams. A weird score. Okay. And I got backwards too. Yeah. There's going to be lots of picks too. Sorry. Sorry, Titans guys. Chiefs. Listen, the Titans. Don't sleep on them Titans. Okay, you sleep on the Titans. Yeah, fall, completely fall asleep. You're I like, like Malik Willis, but he just needs time. This is one of those games which is really important for him because it's is it prime time? It's prime time, in his second week. The nerves are gonna be. They're gonna just run, run the ball with Derrick Henry. Oh yeah. Run they're it gonna climb so right much. on his back, and he's gonna ride him to victory. Well, um, no, I don't think they're gonna win now. I think the Chiefs. No, have, the Chiefs. They're not gonna win. win. I mean, I'm gonna go interesting here. I'm gonna go thirty-one twenty-one Chiefs. I think mm-hmm. Henry gets two touchdowns. I think Malik yeah, Malik like Wills idea. gets his first ever touchdown. Yeah, that's not. Then bad. you got the Ravens Saints. Um, and the this could be a good Saints game. always have a good crowd. Yeah. Um. Could tease some I. I am going to go with the Ravens here, 27-24, Justin Tucker, game-winning field goal. Mm, that would be exciting. Because yeah. Rokon Smith, the addition there, and Lamar's going to just play really good. I think good. Uh, Andy Dalton still got quite a bit in the tank there, too. But, yeah, that's going to do it for the video. Hope you enjoy, and we'll see you guys in the next video.